to nourish my 10 years in recognition of your magnificent lifetime achievements as a scribe and historian, authoring numerous articles related to the tribulations of the Baltic nations, your skills and knowledge in MHD power generation and electric propulsion systems while creating over 30 research papers, your selfless leadership as information director of the Latvian American Association, and recognition by Latvian President Bayara Bike Friberga, I hope I said it right, for promoting the admission of Latvia into NATO, and your undying love and continuing support of your rich Latvian heritage and for your support of the goals of the movement presented this July 16th at our annual Captive Nations Dinner by the Honorable Ralph J. Perk, Jr., American Nationality Smoke. Uh, Ralph, I'd like to say uh, something. Um, one of the reasons why I'm here tonight uh, is because of you. Uh, I will never forget the support that I received from the uh, Latvian community and my various runs for political office. And I worked with the Latvian community very closely to make sure that the Baltic states became a part of NATO. I'm so very, very grateful. And just think about it, folks. If we hadn't got the faults in to NATO, where would they be today? God bless you. I would like to express my gratitude to the Honorable Ralph Perk Jr. and the American Nationalities Movement for bestowing this honor on me. And since I'm here, I also like to express my gratitude to Senator Voinovich, who was so instrumental in uh, getting the Baltic states into NATO. Uh, I received a number of letters from him which were very encouraging, and uh, we thank you for that, sir. And uh, I totally agree with you. Where would the Baltic states be without being in NATO now? Uh, fighting communism was mostly a thankless job, but we were rewarded once the Soviet Union collapsed and the so-called captive nations regained their independence. Today our in the, our homelands face another threat. I'm talking about Europe now. Not from communism necessarily, but from Putinism or Russian imperialism. As you know, Putin has labeled the collapse of the Soviet Union as the greatest catastrophe for the Soviet Union. Since then, he has exerted considerable effort to regain the Russian Empire. We're familiar with the Putin's actions in the Crimea, the Alsatia region in Georgia, and Eastern Europe, Eastern Ukraine. But you may not be aware of the latest movements he's orchestrated against the Baltics. You're familiar with the, his quote or his decision to protect his Russian compatriots outside of Russia. And there are a fairly large percentage of Russian compatriots in Latvia, Estonia, less so in Lithuania. Just very recently, the Chief Prosecutor of Russia has 
stated his intention of looking into the legality of the Baltic states exiting the Soviet Union. The figures obviously don't have to be a rocket scientist to know that what the answer to that question is going to be. You'll probably also know that Russian airplanes, Russian submarines, Russian military ships have encroached on the Baltic waters and Baltic air. An article just appeared in the Newsweek magazine in the last week, the headline says, Putin sets his sights on the Baltic states. That's a little bit scary. So why am I telling you this? It means that we cannot let our guard down. We have to continue the fight to support the vulnerable countries on the eastern border of Russia. I'm glad that Senator Fortman, Fortman has answered their call to help the Ukrainians, as Senator Wojnowicz has done in the past to the Baltic states and the rest of the Eastern Europe countries. But more has to be done. So I challenge you to bring up the rear and support us. Thank you.